Hello viewers, welcome to Eglave Academy. In this video, we are going to see the MCQs on Relational Algebra from Database Management System. So question 1, which is used to denote the selection operation in Relational Algebra Sigma Projection Union, then Intersection. So the right answer is it is Sigma. Then the second question, how is the left outer joint symbol represented in relational algebra? So see the given options, the right answer is it is option A. Then third one, which of the following relational algebra operations do not require the participating tables to be union compatible? Options are union, intersection, difference and join. Okay, so here we should know what is union compatible. So, union compatible means when two or more tables share the same number of columns. And when their corresponding columns share the same domains. Then it is called union compatible. So these two are the conditions. When two or more tables share the same number of columns and when their corresponding columns share the same domains then it is union compatible. Okay. Uh, I give the example for that. Okay. So first example are of SID comma S name then in second relation, yes, we are having SID, his name, then marks. Okay. So these two are not union compatible. What is the reason? Because the relation R has two attributes only. Relation S has three attributes. What is our first constraint? When two or more tables share the same number of columns. Okay. So same number of column means same number of attributes. So here two, here three. So that's why these two relations are not union compatible. Okay. Then one more example. So in this example or of SID comma S name. Then S of SID comma marks. Okay. So again we are checking. These two are not union compatible. Why? So these two are having same number of attributes. So first constraint is satisfied. So here two attributes. In S also we are having two attributes. So the first con constraint is satisfied. Then check the second constraint. So what is the second constraint? Their corresponding columns share the same domains. Okay. So the domain of S name and marks different. So which means the domain of name is the strings then the domain of mark would be integer and float numbers so which means the corresponding columns does not share the same domains so these two share the different domains so that's why the relation R and S here not union compatible. Okay. Then one more example. So the relation R having two attributes SID S name S SID student name. So these two are union compatible. 
how so both relations r and s have two attributes so the constraint one is satisfied okay then what about the second constraint so the domains also same so domains also same means s name is represented using strings also the student name also represented using strings only which means the domains are same but only the column names differ so here the column name is s name here the student name okay so the then only these two relations are called union compatible is it clear okay so according to the definition and given examples you get the clear view about it what is union compatible okay so here the question is which of the following relational algebra operations do not require the participating tables to be union compatible means so the answer is join because other three operations require the union compatible property okay then the fourth question relational algebra is a dash fourier language that takes two relations as input and produces another relation as output of the query so the options are relational structural procedural then fundamental so the right answer for this question is it is procedural then question 5 for select operation the dash appear in the subscript and the dash argument appears in the parenthesis after the sigma so the options are predicates relation relation predicates operation predicates then relation operation so the right answer for this one is predicates and relation so which is a join condition contains the equality operators equal joins cartesian natural then left so the right answer for this question is it is equal joins then seventh question which of the following are binary operations in relational algebra options are union difference cartesian product then all of the above so here they are asking the binary operations what is mean by binary operations so binary operations involves two operands so two operands means here two relations okay so here the union needs two relations difference needs two relations then cartesian product also needs two relations so which means all of the above is the right answer for this question okay then the eighth one which of the following are unary operations in relational algebra so the options are selection projection both a and b then cartesian product so here they are asking the unary operations so unary operations means it involves only one operand so only one operand means only one relation okay so the right answer for this question is both a and b because the operation selection and projection needs only one relations only but cartesian product needs two relations so that's why the right answer is both a and b then the ninth question which of the following operations are not supported by relational algebra so the options are difference division cartesian product then none of the above okay here they are asking which of the following operations is not supported by relational algebra okay but uh, the operations difference division cartesian product so these operations are supported by relational algebra so here they are asking not supported by so which means it is none of the above then the tenth question 
which of the following is not the database operations uh, the options are selection projection intersection then join okay so we know that there are two kinds of operations supported by relational algebra okay so they are uh, database operations and set operations so database operations means only three operations selection projection then join then set operations means union intersection difference then cartesian product so these are the set operations supported by relational algebra then these are the database operations so here the question is about which of the following is not the database operations so which means the right answer is it is intersection because other three operations selection projection and join are database operations only okay so i hope everyone understand this concept if you people like our videos means kindly provide your support through likes comments and share the video links with your friends and colleagues thank you all